Hello and welcome back to Digging for Drez. This time around, we're sending a relief crew to Station 1 because the current crew, they've got another assignment. They're heading off to Duna in 56 days. But before they go, they need more training and we need to test out some of the equipment that's going to be accompanying them. So, once we get them back, their first assignment is going to be heading off to Minmus to test out the command pod for the Duna spacecraft, as well as get more science so that we can research atomic engines and life support scrubbers. Because we're not going to be able to pack enough life support on a spacecraft to last two years which is how long it's going to take them to get back to Kerbin. So we need a way to recycle their life support. And once we've researched them, we've got to figure out how they work. So there's going to be another upgrade to Station 1. So basically what I'm saying here is the next few episodes are going to be very, very busy. And uh, the relief crew is Bob, Bill, and Pat. And really, Bob and Bill have, of course, already been on the station. And Pat is the only pilot I've got left. I did have a uh, another scientist, but. Um, after the last episode wrapped, uh, he and Sam weren't able to get back to Kerbin. They tried, but in the end, they were too close to the moon's orbit and ended up crashing into the moon hours after their life support had run out. So, yeah, Luke and Sam no longer around. But that does not dissuade us from continuing our noble mission to explore the Kerbin system. Okay, we we'll stage burnout. We go. Stage step. Good shoots. Whoa, don't you run away on me. So yeah, now we're not going to be able to uh, head straight up to the station with this, because, well, I suppose we could, but it would make for a bit of a tricky docking, because we want to aim for the docking port that's on the bottom of the lap, but there's an ATV in the way at the moment. So, once we get into orbit, and are on our way to encountering the station, we're going to have to deorbit the ATV. So that's going to look good. So here we are, at the station. 
and it seems we're a little out of touch with the uh, sun. So quick rotation. Back at full power again. Now let's see. How much science do we have? 0.6. Okay. If we can keep that running. Now this ATV can undock. She has served her purpose. And now backs away slowly. We don't want slowly. Yeah, we have electric charge. We have everything we need. And there we are. We are clear of the station. Fire up. Now we're going to come within 100 meters of the station here, so we need to land, or at least crash, well before that. And I've said before that this ATV is not meant to be reusable. So, we just burn the hell out of it, out of this engine, until we are basically out of fuel. Well, Bill and Pat, how are you doing? Within 28 kilometers? That's good. Now, it's probably going to end up being another nighttime docking. But, it's not entirely a bad thing. Except that you guys probably won't be able to see much. And look at that, we're over the space center. Okay, coming in. Load the model. That little speck. Probably can't even see that on the video. We're within two kilometers now. Within one kilometer. Start making final adjustments. Turn off that RCS, we don't need it. Let's see how we're doing. Coming within zero kilometers, less than 30 seconds. And good, looks like we're coming in below the station, which is exactly where we want to be. A little bit lower. Okay, now we're coming in right where we want to be. The danger is in its long axis, this station is larger than 10 meters. So, it's very easy that if we don't correct our approach early on, we may very well end up crashing. Alright, let's see if we can rotate this correctly. Uh. 
and docked. Nice. So we don't have any life support or any other cargo, it's just crew. And as I begin the crew transfer, I'd just like to apologize for the uh, short nature of this video. This is really just a filler in between major developments. Sort of a uh, checking in sort of thing. But next episode we will be going to moons and launching large payloads. So, thanks for watching. Until next time, see you later.